Arsenal made it back, too, back wins in the Champions League as they laboured to a 1,0 victory over Shikhtar Donetsk. Mikel Arteta's men were given a slice of luck midway through the first half when Gabriel Martinelli's shot cannoned off the post and hit visiting goalkeeper Dimitro Ryznik on the back before trickling in. The Gunners would have enjoyed a much more comfortable final quarter of an hour had Leandro Trossard scored his penalty, but Reisnike denied the Arsenal forward from the spot. That was after defender Ricardo Calafiori had gone off injured, a worry for Artito ahead of Sunday's mouth, watering clash with Liverpool, who the Gunners trail by four points after losing to Bournemouth on Saturday. David Raya proved to be the hero late on pulling off one superb save and making a string of interventions to send Shikhtar home with nothing after a valiant performance in front of an emotional away end. Here are five talking points from the Emirates. With Martin Odegaard and Bukai Osaka both still sidelined, the captaincy was up for grabs in the Arsenal dressing room. Gabriel Magalhaes had been given the responsibility at Bournemouth but Arteta decided to make a change for Shakhtar's visit. Returning to the starting line, up, Gabriel Jesus was handed the armband in a show of faith from his boss. The decision puzzled some supporters but it showed evidence that Arteta still has huge faith in his number 9, despite him no longer being part of his preferred attacking setup. It was, to no one's surprise, all Arsenal in the opening exchanges, as the Gunners came quickly out of the block. Calafi Ori missed a sitter from their first corner of the game inside six minutes and it was a warning sign for Shikhtar. Only one of Arsenal's five attempts on goal inside the opening half an hour was on target but the Gunners didn't need to be accurate to take the lead. Martinelli was afforded space on the left after a smart run from Calafi Ori took away a defender, and the Brazilians' right-footed shot rattled the post before hitting the unfortunate Ryers Nike. Arsenal were ahead rather fortuitously but couldn't believe how it wasn't 2,0 just before half time. Heroic goal, line defending from Mikola Matvienko denied Kai Havertz after Reisnik found himself in no man's land. With Ben White having been brought at half time for reasons yet to emerge, Arteta was forced to sub another defender when left back Calafiori went down in the 67th minute. The Italian attempted to carry on after some treatment but within minutes he was down again, having slipped on the wet turf and gone down wincing, seemingly feeling his knee. In a damning indictment of Yaku Kiwi's standing under Artito after his nightmare on Saturday, Miles Lewis, Skelly was chosen to come on at left, back, hoping to stabilize what had so far been a sloppy second, half performance from the Gunners. Calafi Ori leaves Arsenal lacking fit defenders, with centre back William Saliba suspended for the Liverpool's visit to the Emirates. Get involved. How should Arsenal line up against Liverpool? Tell us your starting 11 in the comments section. One entertaining thing about VAR is that sometimes it throws up decisions you didn't even know were on the cards. After a cross from substitute Mikel Mirino from the left, Shikhtar defender Valery Bonda used his arm to block the ball. Most fans inside the Emirates didn't notice the incident and were waiting for the upcoming corner. But soon enough referee Benoit Bastien was notified of the handball and quickly made a decision once he was sent to the pitch side monitor. Leandro Trossard stepped up and with a chance to seal the game, hit the legs of Reisnike. Alan Shearer commented that the whole incident summed up the second half for Arsenal and it was hard to disagree. After Trossard's miss, Shikhtar got their tails up and put pressure on Arsenal's untested rearguard. Gunners goalkeeper Raya had to spring into action, having had a quiet night up until the closing stages. Raya made an excellent diving save in injury time to prevent a equaliser from Pedrinho before having to come to Arsenal's rescue again in a goal mouth scramble. Jorgen Hoss' introduction also helped the Gunners weather the storm, seeing out a nervy victory to get back to winning ways. The team from Ukraine, though, did themselves and their war-torn nation proud.